Welcome, stranger. The Holy Grail. Since the Dark Ages, tales of a magical, mystical chalice have reverberated throughout history and literature, inspiring countless adventures to seek the famed relic. Practically synonymous with King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table, Grail romances became especially popular in medieval Europe. Made popular in modern times by such icons as Monty Python and Indiana Jones, the Grail continues to intrigue the masses. As a result, many places have since been claimed to harbor the revered object, either lost, hidden, or on display for everyone to see. Now, the Holy Grail could refer to a number of things. The chalice or bowl used by Christ the Last Supper, the vessel used to collect Christ's blood during or after the crucifixion, or a symbolic reference to Mary Magdalene, Christ's child with her, and their continuing bloodline. The fact is, damn near every plate, bowl, cup, chalice, goblet, jar, or pot, dating from antiquity to the Middle Ages, have been declared the Holy Grail at some point or another. We've narrowed the pool to 10 places that are the most likely candidates for the chalice's current resting place. I'm Johnny from Mortar and Ivy, and this is the top 10 locations of the Holy Grail. Number 10, Fort Knox. This Kentucky military base is home to the United States Bullion Dispository, one of, if not the, most fortified compounds on Earth. Besides holding more than 4,000 metric tons of gold bullion, the, Amer the American fort has housed many other precious artifacts, especially during times of conflict, including the Declaration of Independence, a copy of the Magna Carta, a Gutenberg Bible, and the Hungarian Crown Jewels. According to rumors, there is a secret vault within the depository that houses the Grail, the Ark of the Covenant, even DNA of Christ himself. Speculators believe were the Grail to exist, Fort Knox would be its most likely home simply due to the fort's impenetrability. Number 9. Jerusalem If the vessel does exist, there's a good chance it never left Jerusalem. Some likely places in the Holy City include at or underneath the Dome of the Rock, the Western Wall, or elsewhere amidst the foundation of the Old Temple. S somewhere under Jerusalem, perhaps in a secret cache, the sewers or catacombs. Many believe the Ark of the Covenant is there. Archaeologists are constantly finding ancient discoveries beneath this ancient city. Now this is especially likely if the Holy Grail isn't particularly special at all. Any 2,000 year old cup or vessel is likely buried deep within an ancient rubbish pile. Number 8. Mont Segur, France. Formerly the seat of a popular hermetic religious group known as the Cathars or Albigensians. Officially declared a heresy by the Holy See, the fort was successfully besieged and overtaken by 10,000 French royal troops. More than 2,000 Cathars were burned on pyres. Mont Segur is often attributed to Mont Salvat the legendary Grail Castle in Wilfram van Eschenberg's romance, Parzival. Legend dictates the original castle housed many valuable artifacts, including the Holy Grail. It is said something very important was smuggled out of the castle several nights before the royal own armies overtook it. Either treasure, esoteric books, or even the Grail itself. Despite this, rumors persist the Grail is still on the premises, hidden somewhere deep within the mountain. The original 13th century castle is long gone, and the fort ruins that exist now are a later construction. Number 7. Genoa, Italy. The Genovese Grail at the Cattedrale di San Lorenzo is one of the oldest claimants to the Holy Relic. Unlike other Grail claimants, the Genovese Grail was thought to exhibit miraculous abilities before it was linked to the Grail legend, rather than after. Some early claims also link these miracles with its creation from a single large emerald, though it was later discovered to be simply green glass. Talk about disappointment. Napoleon seized the green hexagonal bowl during his conquest of Italy in the early 19th century. After Napoleon's defeat, the new French government returned the bowl to the cathedral. While their intentions were good, they sadly broke the vessel in the process. The otherwise mostly intact bowl is on display now in the museum underneath the cathedral, amidst other relics from the Middle Ages. Number 7. Rennes la Chateau, France. Interests surrounding the modest church of Mary Madeleine in the tiny French village of Rennes la Chateau peaked in the 1950s. 
This interest centered around a 19th century priest by the name Berenger Saunier, who seemed to gain an astonishing amount of wealth and celebrity in a surprisingly short amount of time. Speculation arose that the priest made a remarkable discovery deep within the foundations of the church during some highly publicized renovations. This discovery was outlined in the book Holy Blood, Holy Grail by Michael Bajant, Richard Lee, and Henry Lincoln, and again in Dan Brown's murder mystery adaptation sensation, The Da Vinci Code. The secret Saunier found is reportedly proof Jesus bore a child with Mary Magdalene, from which descended the Merovingian dynasty of French royals. Some say Saunier found the remains of the Madeleine herself. Others speculate Saunier found the physical grail, sans symbolism, it having escaped the siege of Mont Segur and carried the 50 kilometers to Rennes le Chateau, where it was hidden. We may never learn what Saunier learned or found, we just know he was in constant contact with the Vatican and that he suffered a sudden mysterious death. Number 5. Valencia, Spain. Some traditions state the grail passed not to Joseph of Arimathea, but to St. Peter, who then took the grail to Rome. From there, a Vatican soldier transported the grail to Spain, where it found its way to the Catedral de Santa Maria de Valencia. Unlike other grail artifacts, the Valencia chalice is surprisingly not attributed to any miraculous powers. The simple rich brown agate cup was adorned with gold and jewels during the medieval ages to accentuate its holiness like many other relics of the period. The cup has been attributed to the Holy Grail since the Middle Ages. It is the official chalice of the Roman Catholic Church, and it carbon dates to the correct period from which such an object should originate. Number 4. Roslyn Chapel, Roslyn, Scotland Roslyn Chapel has long been connected to Templar and Freemason mythology, and practically by default the coveted grail, both in cup form and blood allegory. Long before a mullet-toting Tom Hanks made it famous in the cinematic adaptation of Dan Brown's Da Vinci Code. Artifacts and ornamentation within the chapel display everything from pagan symbols to evidence of a pre-Columbian European discovery of the New World. Mystery surrounding the building has inspired countless imaginations for hundreds of years. It was long rumored a Templar treasure, Grail included, was buried deep in the chapel's vaults. While excavations have thus far proven that's not the case, theories still abound. Number 3. Glastonbury, England. The Great Hill at Glastonbury has been long attributed to Joseph of Arimathea, and subsequently King Arthur and his knights. Many have compared the Tor at Glastonbury with the mythical Isle of Avalon, where Arthur was laid to rest. The area is long associated with the Grail that legend says is either at the Tor itself, nearby the Glastonbury Cathedral, or the nearby Chalice Well, from which lends its name. The well has been an active spring since ancient times, and its red color has been compared to both Jesus' blood, as well as the rust from the crucifixion nails. It is believed the tombs of Arthur and Guinevere were found here by monks in the 1190s, and while their remains have since been misplaced, conveniently, some believe Templars, escaping French persecution, hid the grail between the doomed lovers, the most absolutely poetic romantic thing ever, and it better be true. Number 2. Leon, Spain the most recent addition to the Holy Grail claims, made headlines in 2014 after scholars reported the Grail at the Basilica de San Isidoro in León, España, was none other than the long-coveted relic itself. The chalice, originally named for the Infanta Dona Urraca, the daughter to King Fernando I of León, has been at the church since about the 12th century. It is a simple onyx goblet that has since been embellished with gold and jewels sometime between then and now. Using ancient documents, scholars traced the Grail through history, from Egypt to a small Christian community in Jerusalem. That these scholars published their findings and made lucrative moolah from the resulting book shouldn't raise any red flags at all. Carbon dating has placed the Grail between 200 BCE and 100 CE, similar to the Valencia Chalice. And also, like Valencia, this Spanish artifact seems to tick all the right boxes on the Grail's list of requirements. While we can't truly prove it is the magical chalice, we can't exactly prove it's not. Before we unveil our number one pick for the location of the Holy Grail, let us review some honorable mentions. The Louvre. Once again, thanks to Dan Brown, many fans of the author are under the impression that the remains of Mary Madeline lies under the inverted pyramid at Paris's iconic museum. Others speculate the cup grail is kept safe within the museum's vaults. One visitor even wrote a bad online review of the Louvre, claiming disappointment for not having been able to view the famous goblet. How that person became under that impression is perhaps the bigger mystery. Montserrat. 
Like Montsegur, Catalonia's Santa Maria de Montserrat is connected through its name to the German legend of the Grail Castle, Mont Salvage. The peak of Montserrat is named after San Jerome, who features prominently in many Grail legends. Were the Grail located somewhere in the mountain, it would be awfully difficult to recover due to the hazardous terrain. Oak Island. This tiny island off the coast of Nova Scotia has been the subject of speculation since the 18th century. Theories of what may be buried here have involved everybody from Blackbeard to Vikings to ancient Egyptians. It comes as no surprise the Grail is but one of the many treasures associated with the infamous Money Pit. Despite hundreds of years of excavations and multiple deaths, the only thing discovered beneath Oak Island is a good deal of embarrassment. Akokik, Akokik, Ak whatever, somewhere in Maryland. Perhaps the wildest theory in existence, this area of rural Maryland, United States, boasts a legend dating back to the early 1600s. It is told in local tradition a Jesuit priest with Templar ties brought the Grail aboard John Smith's famous voyage from England in 1606. After sailing up the Potomac, the priest fled into the wilderness and out of the grasp of any greedy European powers seeking the famed artifact. From there, the legend goes cold. Finally, number one, Shropshire, England. This county in England's West Midlands is home to countless Arthurian legends, many of which surround the Holy Grail. One legend surrounds Hawkstone Manor, now known as Hawkstone Hall, and its surrounding ground. Lord of the Manor, Sir Roland Hill, Baronet, and subsequently his son, Sir Richard Hill, oversaw the construction of numerous follies, such as ruins, towers, grottoes on the Hawkstone grounds, and what is now referred to as Hawkstone Park. 19th century antiquarian and neighbor to the manor, Thomas Wright, left behind clues to the whereabouts of something special on the premises, though exactly what was for many years a mystery, as Wright's code was virtually indecipherable. That is, until the chance discovery of a hidden compartment within a statue of St. John in one of the park's grottoes. In the statue was hidden a small jar considered unremarkable for many years until researcher Grant Phillips, using Wright's clues, concluded that the stone jar, which resembles a lightly colored egg cup, was none other than the subject of so many Arthurian-esque quests. Despite being found on the site of 18th century follies, the grail has since been confirmed by the British Museum as being a first century Roman scent jar. While this doesn't fit with the Last Supper Grail legend, it does tie perfectly with the Crucifixion Grail theory. Wright oversaw the excavation of nearby Viraconium Corniviorum, the ruins of a Roman city in modern-day Roxter, often associated with the legend of Camelot. It could be believed such an artifact was recovered here, though he never said where he received it, and in fact Wright may have claimed the Grail had been in his family's possession long before that. Forty minutes from Hawkstone lie the Cainton Caves in the grounds of Cainton Hall near Beckbury, Shropshire. Though some regard this as yet another modern folly, others insist these Romanesque carved tunnels are as many as 700 years old and were used by Templars fleeing continental persecution. While some contend the Grail passed through the caves en route to Rosslyn Chapel to the north, it may be suggested it instead remained within the county, exchanging trusted hands until falling under the possession of Thomas Wright. The truth behind the story is dubious, and perhaps hard to swallow, and yet there's something magical about this version of the Grail legend. The beauty of the Hawkstone Grail, and what sets it apart from the other contenders, is its simplicity. Like Jesus himself, the modest cup lacks the ornamentation and adoration of its glitzier contemporaries, not fit for a king by any means at all. Because it is so unassuming, and seemingly the least likely contender, it becomes by default the strongest candidate. Thousands of years of built-up reputation leads us to expect something gold or silver or emerald or ivory. What if all of the claims, the stories, the legends, the paintings, the hustle, the bustle, and all of the fuss was over this tiny, insignificant stone jar? I've been Johnny. You're always welcome in my neck of the woods. Well, I hope you liked that video. Feel free to leave a comment below telling us what you think or would like to see in any future videos. And be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned for more great content from Mortar and Ivy, preserving the culture and class of our glorious past.